Okay, so we are now going to learn how to combine two pieces of geometry. As you can see, this is the patch that we created with our extract polygons tutorial. So I'm going to take these two pieces right here, and I'm going to combine them into one. The very first thing that we have to do is select both of them. So I selected this piece. I'm going to hold the shift key, select this other piece, and we're going to go to mesh, combine. And if I go to the options, I'm always going to go to edit, reset, in case I did something before. I'm going to close this to show you where you can also find this shortcut. If you go to the polygons tab, the combine shortcut is right here. So I'm going to click on this, combine, and I'll notice that both of the pieces are one. They're both green. If I open my outliner, you will notice that this piece right here used to be two pieces and now it's one. The next thing that we have to do is we have to sew these pieces. As you can see right here, we have a border edge. And to show this border edge, I use my display polygons border edges. I have that as a shortcut. These are my border edges. I can turn them on and off. And I also have a shortcut for the edge width. And I can go with a big number so I can see where the edges are. To sew these pieces together, we are going to merge the vertices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right mouse button, and I'm going to switch to vertices. And what we're going to do, I'm going to select these two vertices, is we are going to merge. Let me hit F so I can frame those two vertices. We are going to merge these two vertices right here and then these two vertices. Remember, one vertex is from this patch and then the other vertex is from this patch. So I'm going to select these two. I'm going to go Shift, Right Mouse Button, and I'm going to bring in the Vertices tools. And we're going to use Merge Vertices. And I'm going to have the option right now to select three types of merges. I'm going to go with merge vertices to center, even though I could use merge vertices. And if I use merge vertices, it will give me a distant threshold. The default is 0 0.001. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the next pair. And instead of going shift, right mouse button, merge vertices, merge vertices to center or merge vertices, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to select repeat perform poly merge, which is merge vertices. So G, the shortcut G is repeat last operation. So our first operation right here was merging these two vertices. And we don't see any changes because there's still a border edge right here. And there is a border edge right here because these two are not sewn. But when I select these two and I hit G, it will repeat the merge vertices. And now this edge has been sewn together. I'm going to zoom out. And all I have to do is select these two, hit G. The next two, hit G. I'm going to go from the inside because I don't want to select, for example, these two. And then notice that I've selected things in the back. So I can either move this, I'm going to wireframe to make sure that nothing's in the back, hit G. Now I'm going to select these four at the bottom and I'm going to hit F so I can zoom in. And I'm going to deselect them and select these two, hit G. These two, hit G. I'm going to go to the other side of the patch, select these two, hit F. Zoom out a little bit. Here we are. I'm going to select these two, G, G. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go from the inside, select these two, G, G, G. And I'm going to select these four, hit F. So I can frame them, then select these two, hit G, G. And as you can see right now, let me hit five to bring the shaded mode. I was able to first combine the two patches. Second, sew the edges by merging the vertices. And the very last thing that we have to do when we do such an operation is delete the history. As you can see under input, this is all the history that was created when we combined these two patches and then started merging all these vertices. So I'm going to go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. And this is how you combine multiple pieces into one single mesh using the Combine tool in Maya.